Hey you guys, it's Haley, and a very happy Thanksgiving from me to you from the bathroom. We have another situation, a Thanksgiving situation that is, in the bathroom today, and I'm really, really excited to sit down with my next guest. So please help me welcome Tiffany Haddish. Hey. Hi. How are you, boo? Welcome to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me in the bathroom. Thanks for being here. Wait, let me I'm very close the excited. door. Oh, thank you. You know, they say it's bad luck to leave the bathroom door open. Exactly. If you're in there. Because somebody might see you. Exactly. How yeah. are you? We eating in the bathroom. We, we balling. Exactly. <laughs> we are going to make leftover Thanksgiving sandwiches. So we have all the things all that the we need. Yes. All the fixings. We got the mac and cheese, the cranberry sauce, kale salad. I love a good kale salad. I got some tomatoes. Mashed potatoes, where the gravy at? Oh, there it go, bam. You got the collard greens. Stuffing. Stuffing. I'll eat Thanksgiving for two weeks. Right, mm -hmm. right. Probably shouldn't eat it. Right, like to but the we, point where you shouldn't be eating yeah, it Yeah, you shouldn't. We're, we're, yeah. When in doubt, throw it out. That's why I always put it in Tupperware and put it in the freezer right away. Right. And then I have food to last me for the next two weeks. It's the best. Mm -hmm. The best leftovers, hands down, are Thanksgiving leftovers. I don't want to hear any argument about it. So we're going to take some bread. Mm -hmm. I really like sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. We're going to get it all nice and... Okay, we don't have butter to put on the bread today. We have mayo, which I know sounds really bizarre. Okay, I'm venturing outside the culture. But it makes the bread really crispy, mm -hmm. so I like to put it on the outside. You know, I like to put mustard on mine. We have. Can you pass? Yes, ma'am. Please, thank you. Yeah, I love regular yellow mustard. So talk to me about where you grew up. You're from L.A., born yeah. and raised. Born and raised, South Central Los Angeles. Yeah, I've been out here for, you know, I'm 21 for the 23rd year. Same. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to keep turning 21. Okay, okay I, I'm not carving this turkey well at all. You want me to all. do it for you? I think so. I'm pretty good at this. Okay. Ah! No, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> you owe me $45, Curtis. No, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Every year for Thanksgiving, I go to the Laugh Factory, mm -hmm. and I serve food to the homeless and people that don't have so family nice. in the city. And it is so much fun because I've been doing it since 1999. Wow. It's like family. I was going like, to say, they like become yeah. family, I'm sure. Yeah. So do you like to cook yourself on Thanksgiving, too? On Thanksgiving Day, I do not cook. The day before, I make a big batch of collard greens, mm. and then I'll go to all my friends' houses, and I have, like, Tupperware. If I come to your house with Tupperware, mm -hmm. that means I think you can cook. So you putting, okay, so you putting bread on bread. I'm putting bread, is that weird? With the leftovers, we're experimenting, basically, right? Yeah. I think it's just like a throw it all on there situation. I know, it's all gonna end up in the same place anyways. And it's probably like, the more chaotic it is, the better it's gonna taste. Okay. That's my theory. What I have here is a lovely Tiffnicity sandwich that I've put together. There is um, this sourdough with some mustard, with um, turkey. I got some macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, regular cheese, some collard greens. I don't know how collard greens and cheese are gonna go. We gonna see. And then I put some kale. Some of this kale salad with some walnuts and stuff on there. And the more gonna... chaotic, the better. We're we'll gonna see. see. We'll see. Okay, well I did turkey, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. collard greens, mm -hmm. cheese, stuffing, bread on bread. Bread on bread. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And then I put a little mayo on the outside to crisp up the bread. Okay, I'm gonna try some mayo on the outside too. I'm gonna open this up in preparation. Okay. Wait, let me flip it. I want to... Oh. Well, on the other that side. That was actually really impressive to not spill anything outside of it. Oh, I'm good at this. Yeah. I eat <laughs> for a living. I mean, not for a living, but maybe I should make this a living. <laughs> Anyways, I eat a lot. A nice sizzle. There you go. Guys, do we think this is going to fit? Yeah. You got this. All right. You hear that? Sizzling and sizzling, yes. Have a little drink in the meantime. Oh, yes. Just a little tea. Is anyone spilling any tea today? We're going to be. Success. Cheers. Mm. This is good. It's nice, right? Yeah. Ooh, there's smoke? Okay. 
Okay, I think it's ready. It's good. It look good, uh, uh. Let's see how this works. It's like a little. Oh! Ooh. Mm. Girl, well, I'm bringing my plate over. My bread fell apart. <laughs> Okay. You know what it is? It's a lot of wet ingredients. Yes, it's moist ingredients, so. So it makes it a little. <laughs> it looks like it's a throw up <laughs> sandwich. It does look like it. The fact that you just said that makes me not want to eat I'm my so sandwich. sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Excuse me. Ew. It's the prebiotic tea. tea. It already got me going, girl. <laughs> you want to know what? It's actually really good. It's like so. He's like, okay, don't believe you. It gave me cafeteria vibes. Let us see. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I heard you're putting out an album. Yes, I am. Talk to me about that. So, um, I'm very excited about it. I've been working with some really cool artists. I have a song with Fabio Foreign and Lil cool. John called Party Till the Club Close. The Gats is featured on it as well. And then I've been working on some stuff with like E40. I'm really excited about what I'm about to present to the whole wide world. I'm I think super it's gonna be. To hear it. mm -hmm. And you're already a Grammy winner. I am already a Grammy winner. Don't forget it. I know, sometimes I forget. You've also won an Emmy. Yes. So. It's giving EGOT. We're getting yeah, towards yeah, we're EGOT. Getting, well, you know, I've dated a Tony and I've dated an Oscar. Yep. <laughs> but I've never had them at the same time. Exactly. And that's what I want. So you have the She Ready Foundation. Yes. Talk to me about that. Yeah, I started the She Ready Foundation like, what, six years ago now? And I started it because, you know, I was in foster care and I was getting moved around from house to house and my clothes were in trash bags. Mm -hmm. And I remember the day somebody gave me a suitcase, it made me feel like a person, mm -hmm. like I was a traveler. And I said to myself, if I ever get any kind of power, I want to make sure kids don't feel like this. Mm -hmm. So. I started my foundation, and the first thing we started doing was just giving out suitcases to foster youth. Now, we get them internships with good production so nice. companies and studios. Every time I do a movie or a TV show, I buy a piece of property, and I rent those properties out to organizations that help house the kids. So we're getting them housing once they get emancipated, because it's a, it's a large homeless population out here in Los Angeles, yeah. and a lot of them are foster youth. Mm. Getting them housed, getting them together, helping them become productive, awesome citizens, of the United States of America is my goal, knowing that they can accomplish anything. You know, I didn't think I would be able to do all the things that I have done, and there's still so much more that I want to do. And so I want to give that back to those kids that are like me and just make sure that, you know, they know that they are important, that they are valuable, and know that you can accomplish anything. If I can do it, and I was illiterate, at 16 is when I learned how to really read. And then cut to, you know, 36, 37, and nominated for a Grammy for reading out loud. That's huge. That's incredible. And so I want all these kids to know, if you need help, you can always reach out to the SheReadyFoundation.org, and we will do what we can to be of service. That's beautiful. I really yeah. love that. I'm very inspired by that as Thank well. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. So I heard you like to knit. Mm -hmm. I like to knit. Well, I don't currently knit. When I was younger, I would knit all the time. Talk what did to you me about that. What did you make? I would just make little like scarves and blankies. Nothing ever massive because I never got there, but I always found it to be very relaxing and therapeutic and good for the mind. It's super good for the mind because you're using both hands at the same time. Mm. When you're using both of your hands, you're using both sides of your brain. Oh. And it's super great to okay. do like, if you could do it like while you're sitting around talking to people, I like to call it a good stitching bitch. Mm -hmm. And just, you can <laughs> just start airing out stuff like, girl, how do you fix that? And how did you do that? Oh, that's crazy. He did what? Like, <laughs> it's super fun to do. I make scarves, lingerie, two-piece bikinis. Cute. One time I made a two-piece out of the wrong kind of yarn. Mm. And then I got in the pool and it was sagging. Mm. in the wrong places. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. You would it think got it a little heavy. Yeah, it got really heavy. You would think it would shrink up, but yep. no, no, no. It expanded. It expanded. <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> yeah, lesson learned. We always like to play a game in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So we're going to clear all of this out. I believe the game today is bobbing for apples. Mm. If you're down for that. I'm down for it. 
The rules are the loser mm -hmm. has to post the winner on their Instagram story. Mm -hmm. No context, but a caption of that person's choice. Mm. Three rounds, one minute each. Whoever gets the most apples in three rounds wins. All right. So count us down. Guys, oh my god. Okay, wait. We have to be able to use this. I'm gonna drown. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 21. eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I got one more over here. Yeah, it counts. You got it out. Well. Rules are rules. <laughs> there you go. I'll take a picture and you put it on my, in my stories. Okay. What fair is fair. What you want fair. me to say? What you want me to say? Okay. So here's going to be my picture. That's going to be your picture? Holding an apple. Okay, hold one of my eyelashes. And too. I'll hold your eyelash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is great. Oh, you look good, girl. I do? She ready. Oh, look. Cute. Okay, here's the caption. At Haley Bieber is very gifted. Is very gifted. At bobbing for apples. At bobbing for apples. That's why she married. That's why she's married. Trophy, trophy, trophy. Heart. How many apples did you get? 21. 21 trophies? You want 21 trophies? Let's go for it. Okay. There's one, two, three, four. 21. Our age. <laughs> yes, that's how old yeah. we are. Perfect. And a heart. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Tiffany. This has been chaotic to say the least. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much for this having me. This was another episode of Who's in My Bathroom, Thanksgiving edition with Tiffany Haddish. Yes. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. I'll see you next time. That's I haven't done Bermuda yet. Oh, you gotta go to Bermuda, girl. I know. I went to the gym. Projectile vomit. What? Everywhere. Balance I it was working out and I stood up and I was like, oh no. You know what I just discovered too? Mm. That I got a basement. You didn't know that before? Girl, <laughs> I got too many houses. <laughs> I'm I love seeing you out. You're a fun time. I love seeing you out too. And Can Justin we... loves seeing you out. He's like, I love seeing you <laughs> out. She's the best time. She's so much fun. Well, I love when I run into Justin and he's like, hey, Tiffany Haddish. And I'm like, why do you say my full name? I'm not I like, know. hey, Justin Bieber. Thank <laughs> you.